get a Georgetown coat, man. I might get that drink. Dang. Pocket on the Emma. side. Yeah. Man, no yeah, that's one I'll tell you about. How much? 70 bucks, even. No tax. Some of the drug pushers in the neighborhood, they'll give us money to tell us go shop and go get you some. They think if we play basketball and they can give us stuff and keep our career going. So that's how we really keep up with the style. All right. While you're sitting here today, you should feel like a million dollars. You should feel so special. You are one of a hundred of the best high school players in this country, the United States. My mother, God bless her, she's in heaven today. She's always said to me, this America. You can make something of your life. <laughs> Coaches from over here yes, to the stands, please, coaches. <laughs> coaches, you gotta clear. If you're a player, somebody up there gonna recognize that you're a player. So there's 250 of us here. We're doing it to try to find out who the best players are and try to get them in our program. And there aren't very many kids at any level, including the NBA, that really understand what basketball is all about. We always say you're going to war, but you want him behind you covering your flank. But if you're pouting, they're going to also recognize that. And don't tell me that they're not going to write it down in that book. But at the prestigious Nike that, camp, uh, William hopes to prove the injuries are behind him, and he belongs among the nation's best. Arthur and Shannon spend their summer at Pizza Hut, earning $3.35 an hour. Coaches come around and look. Everybody feel they got to do their own little thing. Move it, move it. Yeah, look in the post. Some of you are going to make it where you want to be, and others of you will not make it. You'll have a better chance. This is summer for them. They don't particularly want to be sitting in the classroom, but we provide them with an experience you can't get anywhere else, and that we simulate what it's going to be like to be a student athlete. 15 hours a week for basketball. How many hours do we have up here? The statistics on Division I players graduating from college are really frightening. Let's assume you're playing big time college basketball and your team can travel. You have to realize that nobody cares about you. You're black, you're a young male. All you're supposed to do is deal drugs and mug women. The only reason why you're here. You can make their team win. If their team wins, these schools get a lot of money. This whole thing is revolving around money. Recruiting is like any other sales business. We've got to win to keep our jobs. We've got to fill the arena to keep our jobs. And if we don't, they fire us. I mean, that's, that's plenty. Hey, bankers don't make money, they fire them. And you look at some of these young boys' bodies, mm -hmm. they got NBA bodies already. Already. One particular kid who's here now, I've watched him since sixth grade, and I've watched them blossom. Because that's when you want to get on them when they're, when they're young and start writing them before everybody else yeah. writes them. Try to get any edge you can in this business. 
it's already become a meat market, but I try to, to uh, do my job as, you know, and serve professional meat. Schools, do you think, are most involved with William right now? I would say DePaul, Marquette, Indiana, Michigan. Excellent. Great job. Way to go. Bob Gibbons done seen me play my best game out here and turned in 16 points, 12 assists. Bob Gibbons over there like this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was smiling too, Bob. <laughs> Slice of the of the crust. Probably will. Hey, mom. Right now, I'm just feeling good about myself. I really feel like since I've been down here, that I was all American. When I go back home, I'm going to feel unstoppable. Though it's only a muscle injury, it's severe enough that William will not compete for the final two days of the camp. <laughs> 